Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to talk about the holy grail of tennis rackets. What's my holy grail? What's Coach Rob's holy grail? What's your holy grail? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is E-Jelm, I-J-E-L-M. I-Jelm writes, the lesson you got in Japan helped me as well. Won all three sets last night at a league in Pontiac, Michigan. Wow. It's wondrous how a sharply hit forehand can tilt the score in one's favor. Whoa. Yep. yep. As I don't know if Coach Rob saw it, but the, the coach uh, Matt taught me the to just open stance it and and right leg my forehand versus closing it so that I have more range of motion in my forehand. And that actually gave me a new perspective on hitting my forehand, you know, with an open stance and more freely. It gave it it, it helped me flow a little more. So I'm glad it helped you too. Um, that was actually a very insightful video. Well, so, I think like you and I grew up close stance, mm -hmm. stepping in, mm -hmm. and I still more or less use the grip that that works for. Mm -hmm. And your grip has relocated mm -hmm. over more to the western side where you're going to need a more open stance. Right, exactly. So, um, yeah, it, it helped me a lot. It, it just... it took me to a different level. So I'm glad it helped you. And thank you for the dark roast cup of joe. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, want to thank me for teaching you, Coach Matt, Coach Rob. Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so as you guys know, I love to go thrifting. Um, I go to garage sales. I go to, you know, Goodwill, Salvation Armies. Um, when I'm in Japan, I love going to those book-offs and hard-offs. And I love looking for old rackets. Um, it was a lot easier to find older rackets like this <laughs> back in the day. It's like I don't hardly see those anymore. Um, but like my holy grail of tennis rackets is kind of still the you know the Saint Vincent version of the Pro Staff. You know the '85 and. Uh, you know, that's a Taiwan version. Um, I was checking. <laughs> there's a China version. Uh, supposedly, there is an American version, too, that I have never laid eyes on before. And, you know, the, the St. Vincent is my holy grail. But, Sam, you know, the, the Chicago version is now my new holy grail. Because they made this racket for supposedly one year in America, in Chicago. Did you know that, Coach Rob? Did not. Yeah. And and that's what I'm looking for now. I don't know. I've never laid eyes on one. Hmm. I've never laid eyes on one. Um, what would your holy grail racket be if you're looking? If I, if I was looking for one? <laughs> I mean, you, you I, go through like sheds. Uh, you go my through shed. like garages. So I usually know it's in my or, shed. You know, and, your friend's garage or, you know. Mm, I don't usually ransack my friend's garages, <laughs> but I have been, I've found things in my garage that I had forgotten I'd put there. Um, you know, I would probably say the the pro staff, that St. Vincent one, mm -hmm. um, we've talked about that, so I know that's pretty rare. So mm -hmm. that would be something um, to find would be pretty cool, but um, you, I think you enjoy the, the rummaging for it more than I do. Yeah, I think yeah. I would be excited if you found one and said, hey, look what I got. I'd be like, oh, that's awesome. But Right. right. And I, I feel like you get your excitement through me, like when I bring it to you. <laughs> that would be great, yes. I'm probably not the hunted for it person. But 
Yeah, but I mean, back in the day, like these, I hear so many stories that these were, I don't want to say common, but a lot of people were donating these, you know, because they were retired or moving somewhere or, you know. Um, or the racket was too heavy. Like whoever had this one was so much lead. Right. Holy, I mean, that had some serious lead. That was supposed to be Pete's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete's weight um, that we recreated. Uh, this but, one was? Yeah. Oh, really? That was Pete's, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you found it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't find it in this state, but okay. I created it to this state. Ah. Uh, that's why the strings are broken. Uh, but yeah, the, these were, I mean, I've heard stories of St. Vincent's for five bucks or two bucks at the uh, Goodwills. And I, but I'm talking about years ago, though. And then the other common one that used to be out there a lot was the Prince Graphite. Right. I mean, this particular one is grommetless. And it's the original green. Um, yeah, no it grommets. It looks a little warped. But yeah, it's, it's a there's little something, There's something a little off with that one. It looks Is there like, something wrong with that? I, it just doesn't look <laughs> quite round. It looks too round. Or Maybe it's it too was the original other. one. Maybe it's because this was the original one. I don't know. It looks like it kind of... Yeah, it's supposed to be a little way, more though. oval, right? Yeah, it's not so oval. Now, the first time I saw it, I looked at it. I was like, there's something not right with this. Yeah. But I think whoever had it missed a string up here, they too. They did that, too, right? Yeah. And maybe missed a string down on the bottom, but but these uh, I mean these were you know, they're super rare now. They used to be you know donated a lot. You used to be able to find these in the thrift stores for like a couple bucks, and that's where I kind of get my thrill is finding these rackets. I mean rackets like this, the uh, Pro Staff, you know, hypercarbon tour. Uh, that's a super rarity too. I mean, there's there's one called the Rock, the R O K. Is, yeah, I never heard of that one. Yeah, I've that was a rare one, one too, and that was kind of like what people um, try to seek out. Like those are super rare, and uh, I think that was only made for maybe like a year or two, and and the, the people in the know look for those type of pro staffs. Huh. Uh, that was found that at a thrift store. That would not be me. <laughs> that I was, didn't know. Yeah, that was found at a thrift store. Um, years ago, hmm. it's not in great condition, but but at least uh, you know it was a couple bucks. You know, right? Um, I'll show you guys double braid tore out here, hypercarbon there. Yeah, and then I mean, obviously, you know, we've played with this. Yes, we did. Right, the Boris Becker. Boom, 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 Becker, and with the screw, the screw on, on the bottom, bottom. <laughs> that you can make longer. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's a super rare racket. That is kind of a holy grail for a lot of people. And it's still sought after today. Uh, that was actually found at a Goodwill. But about, I want to say 15, 20 years ago oh, wow. by my buddy Pete. So um, It would be nice to have that much free time to go just, you know. Well, that's the thing. That was his hobby. Right. He, he basically, great. I mean, he worked on the road. You know, he, he basically fixed streets and uh you know he worked for the city hmm. so wherever he went on a job that's where he would find the thrift store right. you know during his lunch break or nice. before or after work and and literally walk in with rackets to show me <laughs> that's cool <laughs> and like every day <laughs> wow. so so i mean it, it, you're patient enough you got enough time you're gonna find some gems, right? You know some of the other ones that he found. I mean, were these uh, prestige Tor 300s, the Trisis. I mean, he's brought me the 300, the 600 uh, ones, the prestige Tor 300 in the 600s before. I could not dig that up, but I have it somewhere. But rackets like this, um, you know, are what people want and look for. You know, it's made in Austria. They right. don't do that anymore. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the one racket that people still look for to today is like the version of this that's the Pro Tour 280, the Tomas Muster one that's uh, kind of bluish purple. Bluish, if I remember back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people are, are looking, looking for. But I feel like that generation, unless, you know, their kids or perhaps their grandkids are digging through their uh, <laughs> garage, right. Right. Uh, emptying out the house uh, is is when these kind of get there. Oh, 
or, or they're moving to a retirement community, you know, look at the, uh, the it's weird system. That the grip is, uh, yeah, they were all like that, which really? is a little weird. That's yeah. weird. I've never, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember that seeing yeah. that. Yeah. The, the discovery was that like they didn't, that. that they didn't finish. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like they didn't finish the job. It has something to do with the suspension system. I think the dampening system. Hmm. Yeah. You'd think the grip would go over it, but that's what I was thinking, but it's kind of weird though. Right guys. All right. And then, you know, in recent years, I feel like, like a Holy Grail racket would be like an E-Zone DR. Like a 98 specifically, because, I mean, I found this one in Japan. And I paid around 60 bucks for it. Um, and these, you'll never find in America. That's like an expensive it, garage sale. It is, right? It, it's, yeah, unfortunately, it's a thrift it, shop. It, well, it's a DR, so I was willing to do it. Um, most other times, if it was a hundred, I would probably never get it for that price. But because it was sitting there and made you know, in Japan, it was a DR. <laughs> I had to do it. But DR is the more sought after E zone. Okay, it, it's the one that people loved. They discontinued this racket at the height of its popularity, which oh. I didn't understand. Um, people well, I'm sure somebody out there watching will educate <laughs> us and tell us how do you not know this, but we don't know this. Right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, people, people wanted, like people, literally, people were buying this racket uh, and buying this racket and wanting more of it um, at the end of its run, and then they replaced it with this garbage racket that hmm. was just horrible. It was more, you know, kind of squarer, and and so. Um, yeah, that we all did not understand. And it became a sought after racket after they discontinued it. Uh, and then to this day, everybody refers to the E Zone and the DR98 as the best E Zone ever. Hmm. So that's why it's sought after. And, and probably one of the holy grails of um, Yonex. Uh, aside from maybe getting a used uh, Regna, <laughs> which there was. I was surprised that I did find a Regna 100 at a thrift store. They they wanted 150 bucks for it, though. So, yeah. So, they knew. They knew that it was valuable and worth something. But, yeah, when I look, I still look for pro staffs. I still look for graphites. Um, I'll look for the Tomas Muster version. Um, I'll look for some wooden rackets too, but I'm looking for a very, very specific racket. It, it's this, there's only a hundred, there was only a thousand made. Huh. There was only a thousand. It looked like a bow. It looks like a bow and it's called Hazel. It's huh. called Hazel. Don't know that one. Yeah. H-Y-S-E-L-L, -L -L, I believe. Um, and it, it's, it was like a prototype and it looked really weird. It had like a bowing system that that kind of came around like this too, to brace it. Huh, and, interesting. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the holy grail of wooden rackets. Oh, interesting. There. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. So guys, what's your holy grail? What do you look for when you're, you know, shopping or looking online um, on the secondhand stores or the Ebays uh, or the Craigslist out there uh, of rackets? Like, what are you looking for? Um, do you go out and go thrifting like me? And and if so, what are you looking for? You know, Coach Rob doesn't have the time to do that. <laughs> but um, Coach Rob, thank you for always, uh, you know, keeping me company. When sure. I like to just go off on a tangent about holy grails of rackets. <laughs> we learned what DR stood for, so I learned something new. There you go. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.